Uh, yeah, that's the only way I knew to fight back was to be mean, to say mean things. Um, you said that Sexy Red was a stone down dirty leg. Down dirty leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. don't you like how she's in? Yeah, I do. I man, let me just say this. I man, I, I secretly love Sexy Red. I just hate the fact that my daughter and them listen to that. Man, yeah, man, I love her the devil, man. It's the lyrics, man. The lyrics, man, she got some lyrics that... Not, but not only that, I mean, I saw her here. She was seven and a half months pregnant, barefoot at the club, but the whole club was lit. And I yeah, said, that's the, yeah, that's a stomp down. Yeah, that's that dirty, that's that stomp down. And she, yeah, that dirty leg with no rubble. She that kind of, yeah, she said. The other day she... And she embraced it. The other day she posted on her IG story that she was in the doctor's office and the doctor said her... Thing. Why do we need to share that on social media? Cause she letting that I means she letting the guy. Yeah, she yeah. I mean, you that's what happened when you let a man come in you. Then women you let yeah that come make that make it stink. So she just educating the girls in her own way. That's all. So she's a stone down dirty stinky stone leg. stone down dirty yeah. Yeah, but, but she that's embraces it, and that's why we love her. That's why we love her. Why do I you, secretly love her. You the only one got me to openly admit it, too. Yeah, I, I secretly love her. I thought you loved Cardi B. I do. But you're married. Oh, my wife know what kind of man she married. Like Granddad and them. Granddad and them was in the streets. Yeah, I'm a ride like that, too, but just in my own way. But I'm a good man. Okay, we got. Hey guys, back with another one. So, getting directly into the video, Charleston White was on Jason Lee's panel, his channel, uh, two days ago, and they were discussing uh, Sexy Red, Big Red, Sexy Red, whatever you call her. Now, we have to understand that this is the industry, this is how people promote themselves. Um, you know, allegedly it was said, and I think that. Sexy Red was probably making a joke um, out of it. She probably had a hospital appointment. We know she just had a kid. She's probably just making sure everything down there is all fine and good. But she was at the hospital, and it was a caption, and it was last month, Jason Lee, not just the other day. But uh, Jason Lee had uh, brought up how she said that the doctor said that her coochie, her yoni, to, um, stunk. And I saw the caption on her page. I'm thinking she's doing it for publicity, for, uh, you know, emotional benefits that, that are going to benefit her. They do this to stay relevant. You're following up. The more followers you have, the more of a bag that you have. This is what they do. Just like when people get up here and get in their feelings. Why are you talking about Christian Rock? Why are people saying this about Christian Rock? Good promotion, bad promotion. There's no such thing bad promotion all promotion is good promotion if it can get somebody the viewer over to these entities that we're talking about and then they can latch on and become a follower so say Christian Rock a sexy red uh Charleston uh white because he does things for a gag a reflex as well and he has quite a large following as well but so they go to the internet just to talk about Sexy Red and the um, Goody Cat. And it's just really funny how men today have gone this far and they're like chatty patties. Now we're talking about the Yonis and the Cooties and the Cootie Cats and the Coochie Cat. You know, like, when are we just going to say, listen, we're men, got to bring this back old school. Men don't get up in the gossip. Men don't talk about fools cootie cats and coochie cats thinking you know let the women handle that let the women have their chats and talk about that they're acting worse than females and it's really sad they're getting on to these interviews the interviews go left the two men the interviewer a man the uh person that is being interviewed a man somehow they just find it in their time to bring up Cardi B, Tishon Rock, Sexy Red, and Nicki Minaj. It's just like, why? Like, you ain't got no otherly stuff to talk about. Just believe, if Sexy Red went to the hospital because of some, you know, coochie problems, at the same time, let's flip it, flipping the coin, Um, she probably also would tell her, um, you know, followers, supporters, you know, um, and and fans, she did have a, a smell down in the um, cootie cat because, again, still brings interest. 
it still keeps her relevant. And that's all Sexy Red is trying to do. She's trying to stay relevant for as long as she can. And she's doing a good job at it. She's like the best at it. Um, she reminds me like of a female Blueface because Blueface knows how to, you know, do a storyline, um, make it believable and have people chasing and, and, and acting like addicts for the next storyline or the next uh, circus act that he's going to pull out of his hat. And people just are drawn into the, the shenanigans when really there, there isn't any. He's making this all up. I hope, Sexy Red, that ain't true that your cootie cat is, you know, because if it is, girl, you better tell them dudes to wrap it up because it ain't supposed to be like that down there, honey. And when it is, it could be more than what you think it is, honey. And uh, we don't want that to happen to you, sis. We want you around to be able to raise your children. But you ain't going to be around long if you sitting up there not having these dudes wrap it up you on this freak fest i'm sexy red i got to you know at all times be sexy honey you can still be sexy but you make that man wrap it up so that you are here take care of them kids but you know like i said it is what it is if that is in fact true that sexy red did have to go to the hospital she was in a hospital room and it's, I didn't see the bed, but she was obviously laying across the hospital bed, waiting for the doctor to come in. Uh, probably was another patient, and she was patiently waiting to hear, I guess, if this is any truth to it, what was causing the yoni to smell phony. <laughs> phony baloney. But no, but uh, I don't know. You, nowadays, you can't tell whether people are lying or telling the truth. And um, it's just sad, you know, but then again, you will get some young rapper, rappers, female rappers that will get up here and run all their business because we see Krishan do it on a daily basis. She'll literally get up here and tell us about warrants that she has when that is nothing to talk about because you're going to have one of your haters, not your congratulators, want to mass in mass bulk, call the popo, see which one sticks, which one is going to arrest uh, Krishan Rock. And then she might not be lucky. One of those times if they come get her, she be in the slammer. They have her on to Oklahoma. And then she's going to have to be facing some more charges. So people have to be mindful of what they put on social media, including Sexy Red, because people can run with the narrative. And we already know <laughs> the men run with it even harder than the females. And, you know, it just makes you look bad. It really makes you look bad. It's not a good look. It's not a cute look. It's not something that you should be sharing with your um, subscribers, your followers, your uh, fans, your supporters, because a percentage of those people are going to believe that that's why you had to go to the hospital. And it might not even be any truth to it. And you made a rumor up on yourself and you could be messing up a bag for yourself. Some industries don't want that kind of um, behaviors that they they that 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 they're they're writing signing on the dotted line a contract you to make millions of dollars but you're not presenting yourself like a young lady, so you could be a rapper you could be sexy you could be like extreme with it sexy but it's not what you do it's how you do it and I think sexy red needs to fall back lean back girl and stop that mess. Because it ain't a good look, sis.